big dreams, crippling debt, and now a cosmic power, Nathan's life just got a lot more complicated. Hey, super friends, Jake here from The Brave and the Boys, and today we are bringing you a first look overview of the brand new Radiant Black Deluxe Edition Volume 1 by Kyle Higgins and Marcelo Costa. This is such a treat. I had no idea what this book was, but our friends at Organic Price Books sent us a copy and I devoured it in a day and fell in love with it. It's all the best parts of Invincible, Spider-Man, Superboy, the Power Rangers, all tied up in a story that tackles real world issues as well as it does intergalactic space battles. So the story is going to follow Nathan, a 30 year old failing writer who is in crippling debt and has to move back home with his parents. And that like hit me deeply because like usually I don't have to like face real world issues in a comic book or a superhero comic book, but you're like really feel for the guys. He struggles with writer's block and getting a, a, a job to pay, you know, just for to live at his parents' house. And one night he's out with his best friend. They're drinking, you know, trying to drink their sorrows away. And a black hole appears in front of him and he reaches out and grabs it. And he becomes the superhero known as Radiant Black. Even though his powers are blue, go figure. But this is an amazing story about the birth of a hero from small moments like f helping a car that has a flat tire all the way to intergalactic space battles. You're going to meet amazing characters. Who Radiant Black is might change, which was pretty shocking to me. And it is an incredible story with awesome writing, awesome art, and awesome coloring. So now we'll jump into the overhead shots and talk to you about what it collects and why you need to buy this book. So let's look at the Radiant Black Massive Edition Book One by Kyle Higgins and Marcelo Costa. This book is gorgeous. So it is going to be 456 pages and collect issues one through 12 of Radiant Black and a newly remastered issue 11, as well as a complete cover gallery and more than 30 pages of brand new exclusive back matter. Or should I say black hole matter? Because that was a terrible joke. So let's flip this open and we'll talk about the story a little bit and look at this gorgeous collection. So I remember uh, on one interview, it might have been Kyle Higgins on Omar's Near Mint Conditions channel, where he talked about how he wanted to do a deluxe edition for a long time because this is Image Comics and they have to pay for the deluxe edition themselves. But he just said it was too expensive. So... If you are not picking this up now, you better hope it sells well because, you know, you need this in this oversized edition. And if it doesn't sell well, we might never get a volume two or get a reprint of this one. But it's going to start by showing you how in debt Nathan is. And he is almost $40,000 in debt. And he just got denied for a loan. And he's crying. And his, he's, he's driving for Uber. And they walk up and they go, should we take another car? So that is Radiant Black. Nathan is down on his luck. And he is just trying to figure things out. So he goes back home, moves in with his parents. And his parents are such classic parents. And his best friend's like, yo, I got to take you out, man. We're going to go drinking. And we're going to figure things out. So it's just so human. I mean, the things they talk about, how he... Wrote some short stories that did well, but now he hasn't written anything in his book in years, and he's kind of failing on his dream. And then what happens? They go to the train tracks, and this black hole arrives, and Nathan reaches out and grabs it, and what do you know? He gets transformed, and it's like just an awesome, epic Power Rangers-esque moment where he gets transformed into the hero, Radiant Black. Not Black Radiant, because that would have been a superhero in the 70s. So Nathan doesn't want to be a hero. Nathan doesn't want to be, he just wants to figure out life. He wants to get a job. He wants to be a writer again and he can't control his powers, but it looks like he has gravity control powers. So he accidentally makes the police and this train and this car go floating in the air. And his, I love his friend. His friend is so anti-authority. He's like, Hey cops, if, if you don't arrest us, we'll let you down. <laughs> even though Nathan doesn't even really know how to deactivate his powers. So they get released by the cops or they, they guess they release the cops and then they fly away. And his friend is all about superheroes and movies and things like that. And Nathan can't be bothered. He doesn't even know how to use his powers or anything like that. So it's very much like that invincible, you know, early Spider-Man stuff where the, the hero is figuring things out. And what do you know? Issue one ends with an evil looking radiant red i actually don't know this character's name um but yeah robbing a bank well i mean that would really help out nathan with the thirty thousand dollars that he's in debt so each chapter is just packed to the brim with fun i love this first uh the second issue where he has just an awkward breakfast with his dad 
His dad's all about oatmeal and saving money. So when he's bragging about oatmeal being 30% off at Costco, I was like, that's literally my dad who shops at the 99 cent store everywhere. So he talks about how he's like, dude, if you're going to live in my house, you got to get a job. So the police go to, they track down Nathan's friend and they find Nathan and they're like, Hey dude, you could really help out your community a little bit. And Nathan goes like, why dude? I just need a job. You know, I like this issue. So this, this panel or this page, I like this page because he's trying to figure out who that radiant red character is, that bad guy. And it just shows all the different people he's driving on Uber so he can try to get information. And he finds this villain at a junkyard and they confront each other and it does not go well. He kind of gets his butt kicked and it's an awesome fight. Very invincible, which I love. Very Power Rangers. And this is one of my favorite pages right here. He saves one bag of money and here in every single issue or every single panel, you see the emotions that he faces as he doesn't want to steal the money, even though it would fix all of his debt, fix all of his problems. But he's a good dude. Nathan's a good dude. So he gives it to the police and does the right thing. So you get to see him figuring out how to be a hero, how to be a writer. There's parts like this where he's trying to write his book and you actually get to see it. So you see him dealing with writer's block and I, I, I wonder how much Kyle Higgins deals with writer's block and he wrote that into his story. So it's an awesome story. We'll flip ahead a little bit, show you some other stuff. So he's writing and he's writing and I love this part. So he decides to help out. He makes a Twitter account so that people can ask Radiant Black for help. And his first ping is this family that has a broken car. And what do you know? He doesn't know how to change a tire. And I love that the mom is like, dude, you are you freezing? You're not wearing a coat. And he's like, you know what? I'm just going to fly you where you need to go. And here you get to see him flying with the car, wearing their sweater. So it's just an awesome story. We're going to flip ahead a little bit now. So we're going to show one last part before we jump into the extras. Here, Nathan is attacked by this mysterious red, radiant, black character. And he goes like, oh, let's just talk. I found you. You know, leave me alone. And they have a giant battle. And it does not, I mean, I love, like, he just gets thrown through a building. And it, it's crazy because this is a real world book, you know, with superhero stuff. So there's definitely stakes. And they have a giant battle. And I'm not going to show you anything else because anything else would be a spoiler. Let's jump into the extras now. So now we're greeted with a cover gallery. So all of these gorgeous covers. And I'm just telling you, this book is a blast. It is so fun. So intergalactic, but so human. Awesome art. It's a fluid story where like literally like every issue, something crazy happens and the story. Oh, I love this kind of vintage looking radiant black cover. And I'm so happy that I got to read this story for the first time in the oversized format. It needs to be in the deluxe edition. Kind of like this one almost looks like a Daft Punk album cover. And here you see some of the other characters. So we get a lot of covers. Wow, they really do give you every cover. Then you get a behind the scenes. So assembling the team, designing a hero, all the different variations the helmet went through. And it's crazy how much emotion they can throw into him as he wears a helmet. Here you see the characters of Nathan and Marshall. So yeah, I can't even tell you how much I love this series and how much I'm going to be dying for volume two. So you get some awesome extras. They really pack it to the brim. This book is just such a treat. So I, I honestly, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. I cannot recommend it more. I'm just flipped with so many extras. I hope it doesn't take years for a volume two. So please buy this so we get a volume two. Look, you even get a little translation key for their language. So they, they wrote a whole language. And that is going to bring us to the end. Let's jump into our final thoughts. And that's going to bring this video to a close. I want to thank you all so much for watching. This is a truly special book that I think you all need to go out and purchase right now. It's great if you love superheroes. It's great if you don't love superheroes. It's great if you love the big two. It's great if you're burned out of the big two. This is just such a perfect superhero comic and I love it. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to pick this up, go ahead and save $2 at Organic Price Books with the code BRAVEBOYS. Or if you're buying four or more books, you can save 5% with the code BRAVEBOYSSIT. We also have a Discord that I want to shout out. So there you can meet your new comic book best friend. We have new readers. We have seasoned readers. It's a great place to ask questions, to show off what you bought. And it's just an all-around positive community that I'm so proud of because you guys are the best friends in the world. So thank you all so much. And lastly, we do have a Patreon. We have a free tier that I recommend everybody join because it's the best place to get notifications for anything we do. And there is a paid tier for $3 a month. If you do want to support us, it helps keep the lights on because you know, YouTube is very expensive to do. So I want to thank you all for being amazing people and keep reading and stay brave.